Hi, my name is Eddie, uh, and this is the Electric Sea-Doo Boat Project. As you can see, it's not quite done yet here, uh, but throughout the course of these videos, I hope to bring you through the process of building this boat from start to finish. Uh, this first video is about uh, purchasing the boat itself, purchasing the trailer to put the boat on, fixing up the trailer, and then finally putting the boat on the trailer, which is a lot harder than it sounds. Like many projects, the Electric Sea-Doo Boat Project started out when I stumbled upon a good deal on Craigslist. I had been tinkering around with the idea of converting a stand-up jet ski I owned to electric over the summer, but this boat in particular was too good of a deal to pass up. The boat is a 2004 Sea-Doo Utopia 185, a roughly 18-foot long, 8-seater, single-engine jet boat that weighs about a ton when fully loaded. The hull was in really good shape, but the motor had thrown a rod, so it was out of commission for good perfect for an electric conversion. Parts to fix the engine were very expensive, but again, this was great for an electric boat project, as the previous owner informed me that the ECU alone would probably sell for a couple hundred dollars on eBay. For $700, I was sold. The only problem was it was BYO trailer, as the boat was currently on hay bales, so I set out to find myself a matching trailer. Once again, using the power of Craigslist, I quickly found a suitable trailer. However, it needed a little TLC before I could in good conscience put the boat on it. I started off by cleaning the trailer. I removed all the hardware off the trailer that I could and sanded it down in preparation for paint. Then I repainted the trailer using truck bed liner for a tough finish. I replaced the bunks with new wood and carpeting. replaced a broken roller, and fixed a few other broken parts before deeming it finished after about a week of work. With the trailer attached to my truck, I finally set off to pick up the boat. Luckily, the previous owner had a tractor, which we were able to use to hoist the boat. If you listen closely here, you can hear the sound of the strap straining over the weight of the boat. Unfortunately, try number one was not successful, as we needed to adjust the position of the bunks. Finally, after those adjustments, the boat went on correctly, and we were able to use human power to crank it up the last few feet. There was some minor scraping on one of the fenders, so I made a mental note to adjust the bunks higher when we finally get it into the water. With the endeavor of getting the boat on the trailer completed, it was time to finally take the boat home. In the next video, I will talk about design decisions for the boat, including the electric motor, batteries, BMS, and a whole list of other things. Thanks for watching.